So we'll come back to this phrase here and possibly multiple times through the presentation. But first, a quick recap of what we have done in prior sections. In prior sections, we have just tried to describe different data sets using both mathematical descriptions, such as calculations like the mean or average, the median, the mode, the quartiles, and using pictorial representations like a box and whiskers or histogram. Remembering that the histogram is one of our primary tools to visualize the spread of the data, and we're able to use descriptive terms about the histogram to describe that spread of the data on the histogram, such as the data is skewed to the left, the data is skewed to the right. We then thought about certain types of data sets that might conform to approximating a mathematical type of calculation of a line or a curve, like a uniform distribution, a Poisson distribution, an exponential distribution, and a bell curve or normal type of distribution. And if we can describe the data with a line that has a function behind it, that gives us more predictive power. So now we're thinking about two data sets or possibly more than two data sets in some circumstances, but we're starting off with two data sets to see if there's some kind of relationship between those data sets, first thinking about that relationship as a mathematical relationship. In other words, are the dots and the different data sets moving uh, together in some way, shape, or form? And this is we get where we get into the differences between correlation and causation. And the reason this is important is because with that phrase, correlation does not necessarily equal causation, people might come up to react to that in ways that aren't exactly correct. One reaction might be, well, that's so common that I'm just going to dismiss it. I'm not even going to think about it. And I'm going to re revert back to what I normally do, what is natural for us to do, which is if there's a correlated activity of data points, we as human beings are hardwired to think that there's a cause and effect relationship. So that's why the phrase came up in the first place to say, hey, no, sometimes this stuff, if you just comb through data, you're gonna find correlations that have a mathematical relationship that aren't cause and effect related. And if you know that, those things can be kind of funny because you go like, hey, look, 